work of art. There's something intangible, I think, about, about this instrument. It's remarkable. I'm Christine Kramer, St. Luke's organist, and we are here today with Ernest Skinner's Opus 327, a pipe organ dating from 1922. This instrument is the equal of anything that's in the Art Institute of Chicago. It is a machine, thousands of working parts. It plays very softly and it can be overwhelmingly beautiful, like an ocean tsunami rolling through uh, the nave. I think that what Skinner managed to do here is, is create an excellent marriage between the instrument and the building. I first heard this organ when I was nine years old. It talked, it spoke uh, to me in a way that no other instrument ever had. It has launched the career of many internationally known organists who have gone on and have become prominent in the organ world and, and really the finest uh, of the church musicians that are around today. I was in the choir here and encountered the organ and thanks to that I began practicing the organ and learning the organ and eventually decided to pursue it professionally and that has literally given me my life path. I think that an organ like this at the height of this builder's art deserves to be kept in the best possible condition. It became apparent that the parish itself could not continue to afford to maintain the organ in the way that it needs to be maintained. A not-for-profit was formed in 2013 uh, called Opus 327, not-for-profit, and its mission is the preservation and the promotion of this organ. If I could know that there were, were funds available to keep this in the finest playing condition, Lord, now let your servant depart in peace.